In Conga Composer, you can group and subtotal columns of merged data using the group and subtotal parameters. When using the group parameter, begin by creating a simple Excel template that displays the non-group data. In this example, we are merging product family, product name, quantity, and sales price. When the merge process runs, the output file displays each product name in its own row in the spreadsheet with the product family listed next to it. But we want to group all of the products under their appropriate product family. To do this, modify the merge field that represents the product family here in cell A15. Add the group parameter to the field by adding group colon merge in parentheses, or if you're Aussie like I am, we call them brackets, to the end of the field. Save the template and run the test to ensure that your products are grouped by family. Next, we want to subtotal the total price for each product family group and display that subtotal below each grouping. Therefore, we need an extra row to accommodate this subtotal. We add this extra row dynamically by using the skip parameter in addition to the group parameter. Add skip colon 1 just after the group colon merge, separating the parameters with a comma. Skip colon 1 will skip one row between each group. If you'd like to skip more than one row, change the integer to the number of rows you would like to skip. For example, skip colon 3 will skip 3 rows. Next, we'll insert a formula to subtotal on total price in the row created by the skip. Enter the formula ampersand equals subtotal 9 colon followed by the data set and field you grouped. In this case, we want to subtotal each product family grouping, so we enter ampersand equals subtotal 9 colon opline items dot product underscore family. Finally, we format the cell as bold to emphasize the subtotal. When you merge to the template, the output will now display the subtotal under each group. Lastly, we want to dynamically compute a grand total for the total price column. First, add a label for the grand total. Then, add the formula equals subtotal bracket 9 comma e15 colon e15 bracket. This will give us the grand total for all products. Note that here we use the regular Excel formula for subtotal to ensure that the subtotals are not included in the grand total, only in the individual line items. And there you go, you're now at least three different kinds of awesome now that you know how to group in Excel templates, how to set up subtotals and grand totals. Good job.